Now, Russian artillery is really where it's at. The, uh, the Russian military is an artillery force, not an infantry force, not an armor force. And uh, probably 80% of the casualties that the Ukrainian military suffered has been because of artillery. Uh, when the Russians go into a town, they don't go to a door by door to clear it. They just use artillery to pound everything into rubble and then take control of the ruins. So if there has been a significant uptick, it matters. Now, that tripling can't confirm that it's true. It's probably part propaganda, probably part optimism. But independent reportings of artillery have also indicated a very, very sharp uptick. The problem with those reports is they tend to be somewhat dated. Uh, anyway, there are a couple things that are going on that do suggest that the Ukrainians have had a lot more success. The first one is kind of technical, and that is we have a lot of North Korean shells that are entering the field now, and these things uh, can't use modern artillery systems. North Korea is many things, but a technological leader it is not. And so most of the artillery pieces that the Russians have that can use the North Korean artillery shells date back to the 1950s. They have much shorter range. Since the Ukrainian loitering munitions until now have only had about a range of 12 miles, that means until now, uh, there haven't been a lot of Russian artillery pieces within range, but with the North Korean stuff in place, some of them are. Second, and far more importantly, the Ukrainians have really built up an, an industry from scratch for robotics and drones. And there are now not just dozens, but high hundreds, maybe even low thousands of basically garage shops around this country. Anyway, these, uh, these garage shops are making more and more advanced and most importantly, longer ranged uh, drones now uh, that have ranges in the 20 to 35 mile range. And that puts the majority of Russian artillery potentially within range. So it's a question really of how fast the Ukrainians can spin all this up. Uh, it's not all the Ukrainians, of course. Most of the Western allies have now allowed Ukraine to do at least limited strikes within Russian territory with the weapons they brought in. Uh, so things like the American APCAMs uh, are having a much bigger impact. But ultimately, the numbers of those things are relatively limited, and so they're reserved for relatively large concentrations as opposed to a single artillery piece. But if you can produce you know, thousands of drones and throw a dozen in each target, you're talking about a significant change in the picture of the front line.